John Ross Palmer, the hardest working man in the art business. John Ross Palmer is a visionary. He authors his own rules and follows his own path. How many successful living artists do you know? Do they rely solely on their art to thrive? Are they 100% in control of their sales and business destiny? Do they own their own home, corporation, and art gallery? You should look closely. And now, please meet artist John Ross Palmer. I am what I am. My art is me. My art's always changing because I feel like I am always changing. And hopefully that is something we all would like to be. Someone who can help other people in our life on this experience if we are not authentic. Because that's what we have to offer. Originality. Who we are. Taking responsibility gives you the control. Otherwise, everybody in your life is controlling your destiny and what you do. Everything I do is about the art. All money that I make on selling art, all that money, 95 to 97% goes back into promoting and doing things with the art business. The important thing on that for me was taking the responsibility of my art and knowing if it's what I wanted to do, it will work. Because when my father died, I decided I was going to make my art work no matter what. So I dropped out of college. I did not want the degree to make a living. Art is healing. We use that. And that is why I create. I started creating through the most horrible pain of my life. John Ross Palmer is the hardest working man in the art business. But as with all business icons, he has the wisdom to know that he cannot do it alone. Through the power of positive thinking and the manifestation of greatness, he has surrounded himself with the best talent in the world. It will go on with the remnants, what I call the art is the residue of what we create. The art is what we're doing here. We'll have a video, that's the residue. The art's this moment, the second. Palmer has a keen understanding that by generously supporting his community, a thriving community will exist to support his own business. In terms of finances or happiness or relationships, abundance, all that, you have to create a service or a product and get it to people, honor the situation, and all the other things will be fulfilled. But we're always going for the wrong thing, not helping other people, and then we're taken care of. A traditional artist gives artwork in piecemeal fashion to auction after auction. Palmer changed and elevated this game. He selects and honors a charity of the year and devotes his full energy, time, and donation dollars to the nonprofit. All the proceeds are going to Heifer, gives people sponsorship and things like that in the form of... That is right. Palmer doesn't just donate his art, he gives generously with his money. John Ross Palmer is a third generation Houstonian and a fifth generation Texan. He enjoys nothing more than traveling the world soaking in its culture and bringing it home to Houston in the form of a prized and celebrated international art series. I push it every day to try to do new, do better, to evolve. Palmer's art career has taken him to Florence, Cape Town, Tokyo, Buenos Aires, Sao Paulo, Berlin, Dublin, Jerusalem, Vienna, Barcelona, and his beloved Skopelos Island. When we got there, he said, would y'all be willing to do a workshop? And I'm like, absolutely. And Ryan's like, absolutely. Because to be able to share what we're doing and the message of escapism is always something thrilling to do and to think about doing it overseas. I know now the value of meeting somebody because there's a way that you connect on a human level that you can't, even today with Skype. So I know by meeting people in person and talking about the art movement of escapism is going to make a difference because those people will remember. Supported by the elite members of his first class club, Palmer's art adventures receive international press and are documented in catalogs and connect him to the world's most influential person. I feel that it's my job to plan a trip for John where he truly experiences that city in terms of art inspiration, of course. So it was a beautiful time to take in the city as I go to work and absorb kind of everything. I see such value in his international series pieces for the um, history and the legacy of his career. 
what it takes to get through the series when you're creating, to get comfortable in your space, to get the images that you like, that you've done. And I just look at the evolution of the international series, how I'm getting better at that process. There's just so many dynamics to each piece, and they're so good. And the detail of some of the painting part, because there's some photographs, some painting, some abstract, some realistic. This series is about the visions of things that we've seen that you can relate to on the piece. So they're with you there. A hallmark of John Ross Palmer's career has been to align himself with notable persons. Palmer has presented artwork to numerous notable people. I just want to get so much out because I do believe my art is positive, healing, good. And I know by the more I do, number one, it's going to become better. And even more people have become notable by collecting the artwork of John Ross Palmer. If you want to go have open heart surgery, are you going to go to the doctor? This is his very first time to ever do the procedure? Or do you want to go to the doctor who's done it 5,000 times? With my relationship with Ryan and uh, the beautiful stuff that we do together, absorb every day. Don't take it for granted. And know that all these things we go through are meant to be. Life's never a day off, a day early, a day late, a minute late. Success, sacrifice, creativity, breaking through. You never make a mistake because everything's meant to be. Live that way, embrace the mistakes, don't erase. From the people that love them the most, that are the closest to them, that you have to suffer to be successful or you have to die young, which that's suffering, to be successful as an artist. Life doesn't have to be heavy. Life doesn't have to be depressing. Paintings don't have to be deep and about oppressive thoughts to be good work. I don't want to run out of time before I run out of world. It's hard to determine a legacy when an artist icon is so young, but Palmer's Escapist Mentorship Program is his ultimate pride and joy. Founded in 2009, the Grassroots Mentoring Program furthers his art movement of escapism to forever destroy the stereotype of a struggling artist. I want to focus on what their needs are. I want to fulfill their destiny in the year. Let them know from the beginning, this is the year we're going to stop anything we're doing. Cut the film, see, like this. I got to go help an escapist. That'll be cut. No, teasing. <laughs> I got you. And we're going to go help you. It has received applicants from around the globe. We all have things in our life that challenge us, and I think we'll do anything to avoid pain. That we decide not to engage in life. Palmer and his husband, Ryan Lindsay, teach artists how not to just survive, but how to thrive through confidence coaching, business brainstorming, and sales strategy. Like, how do you do your art full time? How do you sell it? How do you do it? I'm like, you just do it. You be yourself and it happened. You know, I can't even explain why, except just I'm authentic to who I, who I am. I honor and respect people. I try to do good. I try to make a difference. I try to have a product or service that com competes in the marketplace. It's going to work. Unlike others that are concerned with the competition, Palmer believes in elevating all artists to add power to the profession. I want to be the artist that I have worked hard to create the career and that has value in it and the art is growing because of my dedication and continuance to grow as a person and to hit things head on during our time is we're here to grow because life is challenging most of the time. In 1998, I was inspired to be an artist after the unexpected death of my father. In my grief, I used rhythmic brush strokes on canvas to pour out all the pain. After he died, I understood how precious and fleeting life can be. In this moment of clarity, I experienced a life rebirth into that of an artist. I'm an abstract painter that has been told many times 
I never really liked abstract art until I saw yours. Well, I think my art connects with people on a primal level. They feel my emotion and connect with me through my use of vibrant colors or intimate imagery that I sometimes include of my family ancestors. Along with my strong and confident brushstrokes, I often insert a little simple image, an arrow, circle, checkerboard or grid, or a white cloud. This to me has the effect of slowly pulling you, the viewer, into the world of me, of abstract. Art for me is healing process. Just as the healing process is not easy, neither is true appreciation of abstract art. A small trigger that pulls you in. I call my style of work escapism. It is created and seeks to assist both me and the collector to leave behind life's challenges, to enjoy the now and rejoice in the blessings you have. I want the viewer to get lost in my art, just as I do. Escapism is not only my art style, but it also is the name given to my life mission of forever destroying the stereotype of the struggling artist. Through talent and hard work, Artists can thrive and achieve financial success. My father, Clifford Eugene Palmer Jr., struggled his entire life. I made a personal vow after he died. I would never struggle again.